Welcome to the Actors Penthouse. I'm Brett. And I'm Noah. Thanks for tuning in. And today we have Tish Atkinson. Yay! All right. <laughs> Thank you, studio audience. <laughs> So Tish, how's it going? Thanks for coming on the show. Thanks for having me. Yeah. yeah. So, so, me. Oh, oh, go ahead. I, I, <laughs> so you produced your demo reel with us, um, and we had a great. Well, you produced an awesome uh, kind of uh, I produced jail a piece cell of you guys. scene. Yeah, 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 yeah mm -hmm. which was a lot of fun. You definitely jumped into a character um, that uh, that is rare. You know, jail cell hardcore. I um, I'm definitely attracted to. Um, Characters that really make people feel something. Yeah. Um, definitely the more uh, darker, unbeautiful, uh, nitty gritty, uh, intricate characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm, you know, I don't know why I have this attraction to them, but I do. And I think making people feel something and, and bringing people in and wanting to understand that person more. Uh, I love that when so, I watch TV or film. Yeah. So you're talking about act like like the character that you're gonna play as an actress. Right? Yeah. And not, and not as far as like the characters that you're going to go out on a blind date with. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> um, yeah, those are the characters that I'm definitely drawn to playing. Good, good, good. So you're um, an actress. Um, how did, what, what brought you to decide to be an actress? And just tell us a little bit about, about that. You know, honestly, actress. Noah, I'm interested in the what and the why of things and people. And um, theatrically, I've always been involved in uh, different things since I was young. Mm, and I started yeah. as a dancer and then theater my whole life. And then I used to sing and it just kind of transitioned for me. And um, definitely just interested in, I, for some reason, bringing people to life, bringing characters to life, portraying them and giving them that juice of how I think they're supposed to be portrayed on film. Give them the juice. Yeah, give yeah. them the juice, yes. you know? Yeah. Give, them some, give them that little something, you know, to bring them to life, right, to, right. you know, how I feel that they should be represented. That, so. That's great, because you were a theater actress, so, like, you know what it's like to feed the audience and be fed by the audience with the energy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, so um, what are some of the successes you've had since being in Los Angeles? Well, seeing as I just moved here three months ago, oh my goodness. <laughs> fresh off the here. boat. She's a She's baby. A baby. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I moved here from Las Vegas, so wow. I did a bunch of stuff in Las Vegas. And um, since I've been here, uh, just filming the short with you guys and working on a couple other things, uh, filming something again next month, actually, with nice. you guys. All right. So that should be really cool. Another cool character I can hopefully bring to life, so that'll be great. And um, so what, what's a show or a casting director that you want to meet and work with in Los, An in Los Angeles? Definitely, um, I love the theatrical and the comedic aspect of Orange is the New Black. Yeah. So Jen Houston and American Horror Story, mm -hmm. uh, Eric Dawson. Yes. These are two shows that I would absolutely love to be on. Uh, the characters... You know, they, they definitely have a range of a broad array of characters. Right. Um, definitely. And they always pull you in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And for me, as an actress, that's what I'm interested in. I want to pull people in. And, uh, you know, it's you, you want to hold people's attention. And you want to keep them there. And honestly, those two shows, I truly feel like when I watch them, I don't, I, I'm like, you know, I'm like, is this show almost over? Oh my gosh, I'm so sucked in. You're just engaged. I'm engaged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And to yeah. me, that's good writing, that's good acting, and that's something I want to be a part of. It's good production, Absolutely. everything. Yeah. yeah. Well, with that said, let's uh, let's check out your reel. Let's play it. Bam. <laughs> you know I'm guilty. Everyone knows it. But what they don't know is why. Why I killed him. You didn't kill him, remember? Do you know that I have a daughter? Yeah, I know you have a and daughter. And do you know what that man did to my daughter? Things I cannot even say to you without wanting to kill him all over again. And I don't blame you. But in the eyes of the law, you can't just dole out justice. I'm coming clean. And if going to jail is the worst that's coming to me, I'll gladly accept it. You know, Doc, I have a confession to make. I do feel something. The only reason I keep coming back here there's something about being here that gets me deep right here. I want to acknowledge that feeling.
empty, nothing. Yeah, Chris, that was fantastic. That was awesome. Good, I love, I love the orange jumpsuit. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you yeah, like yeah. the prison suit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Awesome. Looks good on you. Thank you. Yeah, it's like a Thank perfect you. match for orange is a new black. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Great. Great. Thank you. So, yeah. um, so Tish, I, I think something that we love to talk about here is is the challenges that we have to overcome um, because we're pursuing a difficult career. It's, it's a lot of competition. It's it's not something that. I think you can really like do it halfway. You really got to commit, and there's a lot of obstacles you got to face. So, what are some of those obstacles that you've encountered in your career? Absolutely. Uh, one of the main things I think is timing. Mm. Yeah. Um, I'm a big believer in everything happens for a reason, and you know, sometimes I say to myself, "Gosh, I wish I would have moved to LA sooner," or you know, "I wish I would have taken my theatrical and you know film career uh, a little serious earlier." in my life, because I worked on a bunch of music videos and I did theater and live stage. I think to myself, I, you know, I ask myself those questions and the characters that I want to play are like 30 and above. Mm -hmm. So for me, I think, like I said, timing, because being younger, I couldn't have, I don't think I could have brought those characters to life right. the way that I wanted to bring them to life. Mm -hmm. So for me, you know, from 30 on up, I think now, you know, with all my training and my age, I'm ready to really embark on those characters. So now, so now, you just came to Los Angeles. So what are the, some of the things that you're doing right now to further your career? What are some of the obstacles you've encountered, and what are some of the positive things you've encountered? Well, my rent's extremely high. A, ah. that's an obstacle. <laughs> Don't live in Beverly Hills. <laughs> no, I live right down the street. Okay. Um, B. Uh, just working on some shorts, um, working on other music video, just getting my hands into a bunch of different pots um, right. theatrically. That's my main interest. Right. Um, commercials are awesome. They pay the bills. Uh, but the meat and potatoes of theatrics is definitely where my interest lies. Mm -hmm. So just doing as much stuff as I can uh, that's union affiliated. So mm. SAG stuff. Good, good. So. All right, what's a good habit that you've got mm -hmm. that you want to share with everybody? Something that works for you. Consistency, uh, I definitely think is a major, major habit that you need to have in Los Angeles. I think there's so much stuff here, uh, as well as New York, as well as any big city that can distract you. You're here for a reason. I'm here for a reason. So I have to stay the course and stay focused. I think a lot of people get sidetracked with nightlife and this and relationships and that. But it's like, what are you really here for? Right. So for me, it's focus and, you know, just staying consistent. It's great. Excellent. Yeah, it's absolutely. Really how um, so how can we? Uh, how can our guests? How can we get in contact with you? Social media. What do you got going on? Well, you guys can check me out at tishatkinson.com or Instagram at tishatkinson or Twitter at tishatkinson, and see Very what consistent. I'm up to. That's good. Yeah. 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 Cool. Any any for parting sure. any parting advice for our audience? You know, if this is your dream, I truly truly think that. Don't ever let anyone or anything stop you, whether it's money, someone, an agent or a casting director that's like, no, no thanks. You know, maybe it's not your acting. It might be your eyebrows. So you can't take it personal. You can never take anything personal in this business. But if you want it bad enough, you will figure out a way to get there. So... There you go. There's a will, there's a way. That's awesome. beautiful. Thanks. Awesome. Well, thank you for uh, stopping by on the Actors Penthouse. Yeah, thank you for having yeah, me. You guys yeah. rock. Absolutely. Cool. Uh, and yeah. thank you guys for stopping by, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> Catch you later. Bye. Peace. Hey, what's up? Yo, what's thank, up? Thank you for stopping by the Actors Penthouse. This is a show produced entirely by the team at LA Reels. That's right. We produce top quality acting reels. We also yep. edit existing footage. So if you have footage, yeah, why don't you stop on by, either stop on by the penthouse or check out the website for www.lareels.com. Just hit us up for a consultation. We'll chat about everything that uh, that you need and we'll make some cool reels for you. Yeah, we'll do that too. And also don't forget to check out our flagship podcast, The Great Hollywood Adventure or the GHA. It's on iTunes and Stitcher. Um, we interview some amazing entertainment industry guests and professionals that give amazing insight and information about the entertainment industry that may help you on your path. It will help you on your path, yeah, because it's really good. We yeah. are so proud of this podcast. Yeah, it's are. incredible. Honestly, this is the kind of stuff that uh, if you're not taking advantage of it, like you can change that today and start taking advantage of it because yeah. it's really awesome. 
And you can just find it in iTunes or Stitcher by searching The GHA. The GHA. So Easy. check that out. And also, this show is also a podcast on iTunes and Stitcher. Yeah. And it's also on Ellie Reels uh, TV from YouTube. So subscribe now to both and uh, be a part of everything that comes to you. Right. Cool. Thanks for stopping by. See you next Bye-bye. time. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Goodbye now. Goodbye.